A time trial to start the Tirreno Adriatico. And what a desperate day it turned out to be weather-wise. So difficult to warm up when it was this cold and this damp. Well, there was even to be hailstorms during the day. Variable, we were fearing the weather might be. The wind at least was constant. But we would have to wait for the climbers and the sprinters to have their fun. This a day for pure time trialists. A classic course. Not even one metre of altitude gain. It couldn't get flatter for the full reach of 11.5 kilometres. The turn coming after five. Well, some opted to go early, some to go very late. In fact, Filippo Garner, fifth from last, but the benchmark was being set out there by the magnificent Magnus Sheffield. Well, he found Minutemen out there, he set a perfect line, avoiding the potholes and bringing in a time that quite simply looked like it may well be the winner. Sharing a team, of course, with Filippo Garner. Maybe he's learnt some tips, but 26 second trim from some very accomplished riders was already impressive. Would it be enough? Adam Yates, well, he's going to be busy in the mountains, but did not want to cede time, which he did today, to a lot of GC contenders. Giving it his all, but those who will be hunting blue and Neptune's trident were going better. Primoz Roglic was one of those, seated as he was at the end of the day, alongside Alexei Lutsenko, Wilco Kelderman. It looks like a tough task now for Adam Yates to win the title. 40 seconds he was giving away, to his own teammate, and that, Brandon McNulty. Well, at the turn, McNulty looked impressive, giving away a second. And if it wasn't to be the day's win, then perhaps bragging rights amongst the GC contenders would suffice. Brilliant work for him. At that point, America one and two, with Magnus Sheffield still loud and proud on top, followed by McNulty. Could anyone overturn this? Well, the weather turned, the rain abated, and we were starting to see some great times from some of those perhaps unexpected quarters. Timon Arasman coming home, eight seconds down, third quickest at this point, and it bode very well for those who were starting late. Michael Hepburn, great time trialist, and on his day, the absolute best. Cheem, Jayco, have had a great deal of success already so far this season and they'd like some more, thank you very much. Hepburn monstering the course, and some nervous moments for Magnus Sheffield as he watched. The clock ticked down and in the end, the American held on. Hepburn seating himself between the two Americans and then came to the course Leonard Kemner, a man who'd been an exceptional time trialist and indeed a mountain man at youth level, came very close to winning the World Championship. Well, he's reinvented himself almost as a time trialist. German time trial champion he is. And just look at what he did to the time. Magnus Sheffield's mark had stood for such a long time, it was trimmed by Kemner. Well, great. Riders and time trialists came and went, and Kemner stayed there until, of course, Philip Ogana. The sun came out to bless him, at least in one part of the course, as if the good Lord himself fancied looking in to watch a great inaction. No surprise there. Ghana wanted to impress, wanted the leader's jersey. By the turn, he was already well ahead, and this was a question of just finishing off the job finish it he did in spectacular style. Ghana leads the race and by such a handsome margin he may well stay in the blue jersey for the next few days. You never know, maybe all the way to the title, we shall see. He does go up mountains well for a big man. What a performance. Filippo Ghana in charge. Ineos Grenadiers could not be more delighted. Two on the podium. And of course, plenty of cards to play when we get to the high ground. Not to be for Leonard Kemner. He'd taken the hot seat from Magnus Sheffield. But you can't argue with a 28-second margin by Filippo Garner on this day. 
taking the stage and of course into the coveted blue jersey. The leader's jersey of this race also leads the point standing naturally as it's the first stage. The Tirreno Adriatico, absolutely magnificent. And with the fast men chopping at the bit to do their thing tomorrow, and indeed the day after, we can't wait. Yet more magic from this wonderful race. <laughs>